Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Alan. That fine piece of machinery over there is what I call the cap car. And uh, today, today seems like a good day to talk about, I don't know, some headlight flashers? So, if you have one of these cars, pop your trunk. It'll tell you all kinds of interesting things. All right, inside your trunk, down in the corner, you're gonna find, uh, I believe this is, they call it the service options or special equipment options, things like that. But right here, all these little numbers and you know alphanumeric things have meaning. So all these different things mean stuff. So as you can see right about there, is a 9C1, so that means it's a police package vehicle. Um, there's a bunch of other little codes in here, like these little 6 series codes mean something, uh, like the 6J3, 6J4, things like that. Um, I believe one of those means that this car is uh, equipped with wiring to, you know, use the siren based off the horn or something like that. So if you hit the horn, it'll like make the siren make a noise. What I don't have is the actual headlight flasher code. Um, but I do have a bunch of relays under the hood, which could be associated with uh, headlight flashers or, uh, you know, possibly that horn uh, siren that's supposed to be on this vehicle that was equipped from the factory that way. So under the hood of your car, or any Chevrolet Impala with the police package set up, over here on this side, kind of behind the headlight, you may find uh, several relays. And these are controlling, uh, I guess, police style electrical options, or at least that's my understanding. I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but that's what I've kind of gathered reading some of the material and talking to people. Uh, a lot of people just assume that these are headlight flashers and I'm not certain that that is the case. Um, the reason for that is because I don't have the police option code for the headlight flashers that are built in. Um, if you have that code, what will happen is uh, underneath the footwell on the passenger side over there, you'll have a uh, basically a green and red wire that will, uh, if you power that wire, it will automatically blink the headlights and the taillights. Um, I, I dug around in there. I don't have that wire. I don't have that option code on the back, but I do have these relays. So I think this may have something to do with the horn option. And I believe there was um, some pre-wiring for like grill lights or something too. So... <clears throat> Just a little bit of food for thought for you guys if you're trying to figure out what you do and don't have. But one thing that may be interesting to some of you is if you are looking to add these relays, um, the relays that are right here. Um, when I was in the junkyard the other day, I did kind of show where that wiring goes to. And what you'll see is that it actually kind of goes down, loops around behind the headlight and kind of comes back up behind the battery and then into that box. And there's actually a bunch of different wires, and I was trying to get into the box, but I'll show you guys so you can take a look. And like I said, that was a car that I found in the junkyard. All right, so these three go down here. There's a ground. It goes here. And this thing goes around. And then this feeds to that. This one feeds over there. The other piece of that wire goes here, around, and turns into these. These two go into here, feed inside of this, and I'm not really sure what they connect into. It's hard to get this box apart. And these two go into this other pile of wiring. Alright, so now that you guys have kind of seen, you know, a little bit of that electrical stuff, I didn't want to dig too deep into the car because I wasn't going to, you know, break a, you know, potential electrical box that somebody may or may not need. Um, since I had no interest in actually buying it, I was just kind of curious as to seeing how the wires were routed. But... Yeah, as you can see, you know, from that clip, you know, like I said, they basically just, you know, they go from here, back around behind the headlight, behind the battery, kind of up underneath the battery, and kind of next to it, underneath that uh, electrical box right there. And then 
that's kind of your positive tap in right there and then I guess it works its way down the sidewall and into the car. So, yeah, if we go into the car, <coughs> what you'll find is either exposed or wedged up underneath the, the rubber floor over there, kind of wrapped up in a bundle, will be some wiring that looks something like this. And for bodybuilders, or not bodybuilders, but like equipment uh, people that add like lights and things like that, this is useful to them. So each one of these wires, you know, taps into something different. It's pre-wired for certain things, depending on how the car was specced. And if you're fortunate enough, you may end up with a, uh, I guess, I think it's called an SEO book that goes with the car. It kind of looks like the owner's manual, but it's a smaller, thinner book that's special equipment options. And if you have one of these vehicles, uh, you may want to see if you can find one of those books if you don't already have one in your glove box. I don't know where you'd get one. You probably have to go to like a Chevrolet dealer or something like that and buy it from them. But uh, I would highly encourage you get one of those books so you can actually see what kind of options are in there. So this is the book I'm talking about. As you can see, it's kind of thin. It's not real big, but it's got a lot of interesting things in it. You know, special equipment op options. Um, there's some other things that kind of relate to just police vehicles in general. But if we go back to, I guess that's six, section 15, uh, that's where you get some of the police specific stuff. Um, you know, I'm not going to go over every single piece, but um, let's see if we can get back there. So, you know, back here, you know, there's a bunch of different items here that you can kind of look at. Um, depending on how your vehicle is specced, you know, they got some wiring provisions, things like that. Uh, there's a trunk ground bolt, you know, see, these are things I should be, you know, reading so I understand what the heck I have in my car, but, um, let's see if we can get back here. So this is what I was talking about. You'll see things like this, that, uh, 6C7, the, the 7Y6, and that's all those codes that are in the back of your car. At least that's what I've gathered so far. Um, the 6J3, so wiring provisions for, you know, grill lamps, flasher, speaker, siren. Um, you know, this shows the wiring diagram that goes along with that, uh, exterior emergency flashing system. This is what I was talking about. If you have the headlight flashers, um, basically if you have this dark green, red wire that's coiled in that pack of wires or possibly over in that area underneath somewhere, all you have to do is put 12 volts of that and your, your car came from the factory so that it can flash the lights which is kind of neat. So you know, I guess this is another little diagram here, but you know, there's just all these neat little options that they could have uh, specced your car with, you know, if it's, you know, if you have one of these Impalas, you know, you can have a single uh, spot lamp or dual spot lamps. And they also have provisions for uh, wiring it for the spot lamps. If you were to go ahead and just uh, add your own later on, you know, some relays and breakers and things like that, uh, different wiring provisions. Um, you can actually option the car with two different uh, roof holes and one that's more centered, which I guess is the A location, and then the one that's a little offset for the B location. So if you have a light bar and your wires on one side versus in the middle or whatever, you can spec it that way. So, yeah, there's just, you know, several of these neat little things in here. And, you know, like I said, you know, these little codes right here will let you know that, you know, your car has been specced with that item if, it, if you see that in your trunk. So, you yeah, know, they've got... You know, rear panel lamps that you can have on the back of your car or uh, trunk lid warning lamps that came from the factory. So just thought it'd be kind of neat to share that stuff with you guys because uh, I didn't really know about any of this stuff and I started digging around the car and looking at stuff and talking to people and figuring out what this car does and doesn't have. Um, so I guess you know, if you do have an Impala, maybe you want to you know take a look at that. I mean, I know that there's actual lists of what those codes in the back of your car mean if you do have an Impala. So you can check and see if you do have provisions for headlight flashers or whatever. So if you, if you run like a security company or something, that's going to be very useful to you because now all you got to do is put in a switch and uh, add power to that line and boom, you got headlight and taillight flashers and then you put your amber lights or whatever your state allows you to do um, so that you can be more, you know, more noticeable when you're parked somewhere. Um, so I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. Thought I would share it with you guys. Thought you guys might get, in, you know, get a kick out of that. Um, either way. 
I appreciate you stopping by. If you have any thoughts, any questions, comments, you know, please leave a comment below. If you like the video, you know, subscribe. If you want to get the notification, hit the bell. Other than that, uh, would appreciate a like. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Love to all of you.